this is Ty Mitchell. Ty is, uh, he won a junior barrel race four years in a row. He tried to get us to raise an age limit, but we never did get around to being 35 or 38. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Ty's instructor with us now, and he goes on the road and has a bunch of clinics. So I'm going to let Ty talk about these saddles here. All right, thank you, Josie. I'd like to spend a few minutes. We get a lot of emails, a lot of questions called to the Western store, uh, wanting to know about saddles, which one would, would fit me. And, you know, the thing that I can say about a barrel racing saddle is you need a saddle that not only fits you, but it needs to fit your horse. And we're proud to be partnered with Circle Y. All these saddles are made right here in America, and that's important right now. Uh, I'm going to start off. This is the Crystal Challenger. Uh, the thing that's unique about these saddles, all the ones I'm going to show you, they have the forward hung stirrups. And what that means is, on a traditional saddle, the fender runs through the tree and connects back to itself. Well, trees have a little, or the bars of the tree kind of make, has a little slope to it. Well, when you put weight in your stirrup, your fender is going to slide to the lowest point of that saddle. Sometimes that can be behind your hips, causing you to fall forward and we go all over the country and i've had the opportunity to ride 50 or 60 different style saddles and uh, one thing that that i like about this is i feel like my feet or legs are under me if you don't have that you have no balance if you feel like you're running to the first barrel and your legs are behind you that's not a good feeling and you want to be able to get up get down on your own accord you don't want this horse throwing you around uh, on this saddle, the forward hung, the inside of this fender hooks to a swivel. So when you put weight in your stirrups, your legs rotate slightly forward. That's one of the biggest features. On all three of these saddles, you're gonna see a taller saddle horn. To me, this is important. And a lot of people think of a saddle horn, well, I hold it if I'm about to fall off. Well, a saddle horn is an important part of a barrel run. It's more to it than staying on your horse. It's about timing, and if you're behind and your horse runs into the barrel, slows down, you fall forward, you're in trouble. You want to be able to push back. You want to be able to get your hand around the horn, number one. Some of these saddle horns are so big, you have to grab up on top and your hand comes off, but right here I can lock that wrist behind the horn. I want to push back going into a turn, and I also want to pull up leaving the barrel. And sometimes that's, that's a, just a small part of a barrel run, but it's important that your saddle accommodates you. You're also looking for a deep seat. And this particular saddle, this is a, uh, the cash saddle. It's a, a five inch uh, and nine inch in the front. And you've got a definitely deeper seat right here. And like I was saying, all three are forward hung, but on this particular saddle, if you feel like leaving the barrel, your rear end's popping out of the back of the saddle, or if you're going to a barrel and your horse throws you forward, this is built up more in the back and more in the front. It's not for everybody, but if you feel like you need that extra little bit of grip um, that's staying in the saddle, this saddle will offer that. One thing about all three of these saddles, the stirrups. Um, you know, that's one thing. What, how, the stirrups being wider, wider is better. And the reason is if you're standing on a, uh, say, a piece of sucker rod, are you going to have as much balance as you would on a two by four? No. One of the biggest things that we see at a clinic, people's toes or feet turned down in a run or just riding their horse. If you can prevent that, keep your feet level, it all starts from the bottom and works its way up. If you're in trouble, if your feet are turning down, that makes your legs go behind you, that rolls your hips forward and you're falling forward. So your stirrups are important and that's one thing that comes on all these saddles are these good wide aluminum stirrups. I'm very excited about this saddle. This is the Renegade saddle. RE Martha Circle Y gave me an opportunity to design a saddle. We got to go to Circle Y. I got to look at different type saddles and got to put this together. And I'd like to talk about some of the features. Um, there again, all, all these saddles, like I said, have the forward hung stirrup. I'm going to lift this up and you can kind of see the cutout right here. This gives you a close comfort to your horse. The bars have been shaved just a little bit, making the saddle narrow. Um, it's got a little deeper seat than our original Ultimate. And um, I'm proud of it. it the saddle horn, uh, you know, we had always had a rawhide wrap right here. This is smooth. This is just one little change that we made for comfort. Um, we originally went into it designing it 
uh, hoping to attract men uh, for the saddle. And, you know, we've had a lot. It, it fits everybody. And uh, we'd love for y'all to come try a horse. That's one thing at the Josie Ranch that you can try before you buy. And one thing, uh, you know, we can sit in a saddle at a store and it feels good to us. We'll get it home, put it on our horse, and our horse don't like it or it doesn't fit him. And anytime you're trying a new saddle, take the time to put it on your horse and see how it fits him because it's got to work for both of y'all. And remember, these saddles can be purchased at your favorite Circle Wide dealer or here at the Josie Ranch. We'd love to have you trying one of our saddles.